you get what you get. You know the end of that. And you don't throw a fit. If you don't know it yet, you will know it by the end of this book. You get what you get. Ooh, a cookie. I hope that's what I get today. Melvin did not deal well with disappointment. Look at how grouchy he is. He's disappointed already in something. If his cookie had half as many chocolate chips as his sister's, look out. If he lost his turn during a game, stand back. Looks to me like he's throwing a fit. And if he didn't get exactly what he wanted, well, you know. Look at that backpack. It's a robot backpack. Sorry, Melvin. They were out of dinosaur backpacks. Oh my gosh. She got him a backpack. They didn't have exactly the one he wanted. So this is how he treats his new backpack? Just because it's not exactly the one he wanted? You're not always going to get what you want. No, Melvin did not deal well with disappointment. And this is why he hated his teacher's favorite rule. Here it is, folks. You get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. That means you just got to be happy with what you got. And if it's not perfect, oh well, deal with it. Maybe next time it'll be perfect. Maybe not. Because of this rule, Melvin could not throw a fit if he had to use crayons instead of markers. Oh dear. He could not throw a fit if he ended up last in line. Somebody has to be last, right? Don't throw a fit about it. He couldn't even throw a fit if his napkin was pink instead of green. Oh well, mumbled Melvin. At least I can still throw a fit at home. My family doesn't know a thing about that terrible rule. Wait a second. So Melvin is saying that at school he won't throw a fit if he doesn't get his way. But at home he can throw a fit and that's all right. Ugh! Is that true? Is it okay to throw a fit at home if you don't get what you want? No. Don't do it. Please don't do it. But that night, when it was Melvin's turn to choose the movie, things changed. As soon as he'd chosen Dinosaur Rumble, his sister stomped her foot and whined. But I want to watch A Pony Called Trouble! Too bad. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit, said Melvin. Everyone stopped and looked at Melvin. What did you say? asked Dad. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit, repeated Melvin. So if your cookie only has a few chocolate chips, you shouldn't throw a fit, asked his sister. And if you lose a turn during a game, you shouldn't throw a fit, asked his dad. And if the dinosaur backpacks are all sold out, you should be happy with the robot one. And you absolutely should not throw a fit, asked his mom. Melvin gulped. There was no way to take it back. Everyone knew. So he told them the rule that, that he has at school, and they're like, Ah, so you know about how to behave. We know you do, and now you're going to have to be like that at home. <laughs> well, I mean, at school you shouldn't throw a fit, because that's the rule. But at home you can, he said. Mm, I think that sounds like a good rule for at home, too, said Dad. I agree, said Mom. Home and school, that's the rule, his sister chanted. <laughs> mm, 
Melvin wanted to cry. He wanted to shout. He wanted to lie down on the ground and throw his arms and legs about. But he didn't. After all, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. You guys don't throw fits, do you? Because you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. What could you do instead if there's something you don't like? You don't want to throw a fit. Do you think it would be okay to tell mom or dad or your teacher or whoever, like, I don't really like this. Is it okay to tell them that? Yes, it is okay to tell them that. And then they might say, oh, well, we can do it differently. Or they might say, I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is this time. And that's the end of it. So you get what you get and you don't throw a fit.